Shalom and welcome to Sumkai Israel. In this week's Parsha, after a long and eventful separation from his family, Joseph is finally reunited with his brothers. But his brothers are completely unaware of how momentous this meeting is because they fail to recognize Joseph, now an Egyptian viceroy, as a long lost sibling. I have the same complaint about this story as I do with every Superman comic ever written. Why don't Clark Kent's friends recognize that he's Superman? He's not even wearing a mask. I think I'd recognize one of my coworkers, even if he took off his glasses and slicked back his hair. And I'm certain I would recognize my own brother, even if it had been a few years and he was wearing one of those funny Egyptian hats. And yet when Joseph meets his brothers, not one of them recognizes him. I'm Jared Eaton from Simcha Israel, and this week we are going to look at the story of Joseph and try to find out what is beneath the disguise. Before we begin, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel down below. It seems unlikely, but the brothers' obliviousness is not that strange if you look at it within the context of the greater story of Genesis. The Torah has a way of drawing attention to important ideas through the use of repeating themes. Throughout the Torah, and especially in Genesis, we see the same stories being played out again and again. On three separate occasions, a patriarch will leave home during a famine and disguise his wife as his sister to avoid being killed in a strange land. On three separate occasions, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses will all find their future brides at a well, watering their animals. And here in Parsha Miketz, we see the fourth occasion that someone uses a disguise to achieve their ends. The first was Jacob tricking his father by wearing his brother Esau's clothing. The second was Laban tricking Jacob into marrying Leah by disguising her as Rachel. The third was Tamar, disguising herself as a prostitute to sleep with Judah. And now, Joseph disguises himself to his brothers in order to test them. In each case, the disguise seems exceedingly flimsy. Isaac may have been blind, but he still should have been able to tell his sons apart. Jacob didn't even disguise his voice. And Jacob spent seven years longing after Rachel, yet spent an entire intimate night with Leah before realizing he'd been tricked. These are not really disguises here. How is it that these people were blind to the true identities of those closest to them? The answer may lie in the book of Isaiah. When God gives the prophet his commission, he tells Isaiah to render the hearts of this people insensitive, their ears dull and their eyes dim. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts and return and be healed. In these verses, we see that God sometimes works by closing the eyes of his people to the truth in order for something greater to be fulfilled. In this context, perhaps it's not so strange that so many people were fooled by such transparent disguises. Had Isaac recognized Jacob, our patriarch might never have gone on his journey of transformation. Had Jacob seen through Laban's obvious deceit, he would never have married the woman who bore seven of his children and sired half the tribes of Israel. And if Joseph's brothers realized who he was, true reconciliation would never have happened. They would have immediately cringed and groveled and begged for their lives. Joseph would have no way of reconnecting with them on their level. Joseph needed those days in disguise to gauge his brother's hearts, to see that they were truly repentant over what they had done to him. And when he knew he could trust them again, then he was able to take off his disguise and make their family whole again. By closing their eyes, God allowed these people to see a greater truth when he opened them again. Isaac finally saw Jacob as a son who deserved to be blessed. Jacob finally saw Leah as a wife deserving of a husband who loved her. Judah finally saw Tamar as a woman deserving a child and a legacy. And the sons of Israel finally saw Joseph as their true brother. In each case, the end result of the deception was the restoration of the relationship and the coming together of God's plan for his people. Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph's brothers all needed to be blind to the disguises so that when the veil was lifted, they could see what God's plan truly was. This is an encouraging thought for Messianic Jews. We live in a world where the greater part of the Jewish people do not recognize Yeshua as the promised Messiah and the Son of God. But imagine what would have happened if the Jewish people had seen Yeshua for who he was. They would have embraced him and made him their king. All of Israel would be saved, but Messiah would never have gone to the cross. He would never have paid the price of our sins. And though Israel would be saved, the rest of the world would drown in darkness. So instead, God dimmed the eyes of Israel. But I find hope in the knowledge that while God sometimes blinds his people to the truth, he never does it permanently. The sons of Jacob didn't recognize Joseph for who he was at first. But when the truth was revealed, Israel was saved and the family made whole again. The time will come when God removes the veil from his people's eyes and all of Israel will finally see who Yeshua truly is. And just as Joseph restored his family, so too will Yeshua restore our nation, put our family back together, and make our world whole again. Shalom and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. 
And don't forget to visit simcotisrael.org to learn more.